Manatees. Manatees. Manatees washing on shore dead. A trashed beach. A new algae scare. Thousands of dead fish, crabs, and even stingrays. There's a new it's troubling sight if you're boating in Indian Harbor Beach. Algae blooms out the water. They grow and manatees starve to death. For over a decade, Brevard Zoo's Restore Our Shores team and its partners have been on the front lines of conserving the Indian River Lagoon, one of the most biodiverse estuaries in all of North America. This critical water body has over 4,000 species that call the lagoon home. There's so much here worth protecting. Unfortunately, this once healthy water body is undergoing an ecological crisis. Threatened by rapid development, habitat destruction, and pollution, the lagoon has been flooded with harmful nutrients resulting in massive algal blooms decimating seagrass and marine life populations. But this is not where we've let the story end. Restore Our Shores has evolved over the last 10 years, continually improving our designs and techniques while also collecting vital data. We are dedicated to finding environmentally friendly solutions for improving the water quality, creating healthy habitat and expanding biodiversity. Throughout the 156 mile long lagoon, we have built essential oyster reefs, adding millions of oysters and clams back into the lagoon's population. And our work doesn't stop with the mighty filter feeders. We've also planted dozens of experimental seagrass beds, thousands of mangroves and integral native shoreline plants, strengthening our shorelines. Our staff has worked alongside thousands of volunteers over the last decade, from the volunteers who've dedicated their mornings to planting seagrass, to the 1,700 volunteers who've helped grow oysters and clams off their docks. We are incredibly appreciative of everyone who's helped to better our backyard. We're incredibly proud to have a hand in saving the Indian River Lagoon, our home. While we have seen improvement in the health of the lagoon, that does not mean our work is done. We still need you to volunteer with us on our shorelines, get the word out about our work, and support our efforts. We hope you'll join us.